Good morning everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my craft table and my channel. I have a treat for you today. I want to show you how to make stickers. Now, not just any kind of stickers, but I want to show you how to make stickers that are kiss cut stickers, but then they are die cut around the edge so that they're ready to go for you. So historically, when I would make cards, I would have my Cricut write out my um, Jenny Lynn handcrafted on the back with the pins and I just chose different colors and designs, etc., which is great and I still sometimes do that. So what I've been doing is, is I have these stickers and these, I just did a kiss cut on these, but I didn't do the die cut around it. This is my original first attempt at doing these types of stickers. And so I just had to cut these apart with my paper trimmer and scissors, no big deal. And then I have the kiss cut, which is great. It was exactly what I want. And it allows me to put my logo very quick and easy on the back of my cards. So, and I just keep them in this little jar right here. And then um, I have started this month making Christmas cards. Here's one in particular that um, this image here is on cardstock and this was written out with my Cricut pens. Um, and then I just colored it in with the Cricut pen. I thought that was super cute, but that's really not what I wanted to show you is I had come up with a sticker design for the back. I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to have a holiday themed sticker for my holiday themed cards. So I came up with this design right here and I did come up with another one, but I didn't print those out. So I have a little bowl here with all of my little um, stickers that are kiss cut and then die cut around the edge. And I wanna show you how to do that. So today's project, when we hop into design space here in just a moment, is I'm going to do some Halloween stickers, I'm going to do some fall stickers, and then I'm going to do a few more of these, and um, actually I have another design of Christmas sticker. Go ahead and head over to Design Space so that I can show you how to make kiss cut stickers that are then die cut around so that they're easy for you to peel off and also give away to others if you're wanting to do that as well. Design space, I have brought up my file of the stickers that I've come up with. Basically what I did is I literally just went into images and I just searched for um, holiday designs. Like basically this was, um, these two here, I did Halloween circle and I chose these two images and then I've added my um, logo in there. And then these were fall circle. And so I've got this little fall, re or I'm sorry, leaf wreath here. I added my Jenny Lynn handcrafted. Here is another one. In fact, let me blow this up so you can see these. Okay, so this one has just a variety of fall themed words then some fall leaves, and then I just added the Jenny Lynn Handcrafted here in the middle. So this is one for fall. This one I just left a simple fall leaves, Jenny Lynn Handcrafted. These were Halloween circles, that's what I searched up. Um, and then this, I really like, I thought this was so cute. So it's the pumpkins and the bats. And then here, oh, I just love these little faces. Look at those bats, those are so cute. I just love them. So this is another Halloween circle. And again, I just added in um, my little name logo. So these are the new ones that I am creating today. This is the one that I created previous that I just showed you on the card. So it was basically this Holly monogram that I found in Design Space Images. And so what I did is I changed, um, it had something else here where the handcrafted is. And what I did is I just changed it to handcrafted and then I wrote Jenny Lynn in the middle. 
and then I have this one here. Now this one originally said Merry Christmas and I took off the Merry Christmas and I just put my logo yet again. I'm going to go ahead and hide this holly one because I do have plenty of stickers in that um, in that one. I don't need to cut any more of those, but I do want some of these for my Christmas cards. Let me zoom back out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here how to turn these into print and cut stickers. And I'm just going to use the regular Cricut sticker paper with the green lining on the back. Okay, the green grid. Okay, so what I want to show you is let's say that here um, I want to turn this into a sticker. So I have a couple choices. I'm going to show you that you can um, flatten it. You can do the print thin cut and then um, do an offset so you can do an offset around there but what the easiest thing to do is to grab your image and go to create sticker so i'm going to go to create sticker and i'm going to choose kiss cut and then what i want to do is a die cut edge okay so this is going to do a die cut edge around here. So the outer circle will be cut and then this inner circle will be my um, kiss cut, which means it won't go all the way through the paper. And then I'm just going to click apply. So here I have one sticker ready to go. All right, now let's go ahead and go to the next one. I'm going to go to create sticker and I'm going to do kiss cut and then I could do a thin border if I wanted to. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so if I do a thin border, then you can see how it does this little border around the whole thing. And I kind of like that because then my Cricut doesn't have to cut out around all of the little bats and the pumpkins exactly as they are but you can come down to custom and you can make the border a little thinner if you would like so we can thin that out you can also um, have your board like the border is white okay and then black now this is really really big i don't want to go that big so i'm going to go way down here see how close I can get it want to make it a little bit smaller okay that's perfect so this is at 0 0.036 and then I'm going to click on die cut edge okay, so the die cut edge is basically going to cut around here and this looks a lot bigger than it really is on paper but it's going to cut around here so that this is an individual sticker but then this interior line here is a kiss cut. So I'm going to click apply on that one. So you could do this without going to the sticker creator. So let me blow this up a little bit. Okay, so what I can do is I can click on my sticker and I can do offset and it's gonna take a moment. And it's not quite as small as I want. So let's go down. I'm going to just type in, how about we type in um, 0 po uh, 0.063. I'm just going to give that a try. So this is the way to do it if you don't want to use the create a sticker button. I'm actually going to go down a little bit more because I don't want it so far from the edge. I want it pretty close without being too close. Okay, so I think that's great. And then I'm going to click apply and I'm gonna come over here. I want to make my offset white. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then one more thing I need to do with my offset and that needs to be the contour. And then once this comes up, so all those little cuts, I don't want any of those little cuts. I'm going to hit hide all contours, hit that little X. So now my, this looks like a sticker. So I'm going to grab the fall round and the offset, and I'm going to flatten them together just like that. And I know it's hard to see 
I'll bring it up, but you can see like here where you can't see the grid line. So this is now a sticker. So that's another way you can do stickers. Um, the problem is, is that, um, you know, this is going to just cut out. It won't have the kiss cut. That is the issue with not using the create a sticker thing. So I'm actually going to unflatten and I'm going to get rid of the offset. Okay. And I'm going to go back to create a sticker. And the reason why I like to use this feature is because I really like the kiss cut. If I had left it the previous way, then the Cricut would cut it out. It would just have the die cut edge, which would be totally fine. It would not have a kiss cut edge. So I would need to go in really, really close with my offset so that I didn't have a really large margin. But I'm gonna go ahead and do kiss cut. When that pops up, then we're gonna do a die cut edge. Okay, now that I have my die cut edge, I can hit apply. So now I have this sticker here, okay? So I'll have the kiss cut going around here and then I will have the die cut. All right, so there's this one. All right, so we have two more to do. All right, so I'm gonna go to create a sticker. I'm gonna do kiss cut. I'm gonna wait for it to populate it. Then I'm going to do, let's see, do we want a thin border? Let's check this one out. Yep, there we go. We want a thin border. Um, actually, I think I am gonna go into custom and I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. Changing it to 0.063 and then it's still a little too big for my taste, so I'll just change it to 0 0.05. That'll be great. I do want the die cut edge, and I'm going to click on apply. All right, so this sticker is ready to go. All right, now this one, um, let's see. I wanna actually come back to Let's see, did that do that die cut edge? Let me double check that. So if you go back, let's say you make a mistake. I'm not sure about these two. I think I might need to fix those, but let's say you made a mistake. You can actually go in here and do undo sticker and it'll undo everything. So here's what I noticed. I need the die cut edge. I didn't turn that on. That's why it looked a little weird. Okay, so I have my, my die cut border and I have my kiss cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. So this sticker is ready to go. Now this one here, I want to go in and double check one thing. Um, I'm going to undo the sticker. This is what I meant by if you make a mistake. I think I do have a mistake in there. So now it is not a sticker at all. I'm going to go back to create a sticker. I'm gonna go back to kiss cut. And I am going to do custom. That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to tell it what kind of border to do. And let's do point, um, point zero 0.05 and see what that looks like. Because again, I want that kiss cut edge that encompasses the, the uh, sticker itself but then I want a die cut edge to cut out the sticker for me completely from the sheet. All right, so this one here, I think that's okay. That'll be all right. And I wanna do die cut edge. So it'll give me that big fluffy border. Now again, I've got my kiss cut around the sticker and my die cut to actually cut the sticker out of the paper. So I'm gonna click apply. So my two fall stickers are finished, and now I just need to do the last Halloween one. All right, so create a sticker, then kiss cut. I want to go to custom, and let's do 0 0.05. That seems to be the one I like the most. Not, 
Let's see, that's probably a little too big. Let's go down really small. Could probably go a little bit smaller. Okay, that's good. See, even 0 0.031, that's smaller than the others. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the border as white. I'm gonna do a die cut edge and let that populate. Great, now we're gonna hit apply. So now we have all of our stickers. So I'm gonna zoom out some. Okay, so now it's time to do the um, getting these ready to cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab a shape. So I'm gonna grab a square. I'm gonna bring this in and I'm going to do um, eight and a half. Oh, I need to unlock it. So eight and a half by 11. Now this is gonna be the sheet of paper you know, the sticker paper is eight and a half by 11. Let me zoom out a little bit more for you. Now, um, I don't really want this to look, I really just want a guide. So I'm going to go to basic operation. Instead of cut, I'm going to go down here to guide. And that's gonna turn it into a little sheet like this. I'm going to start putting my stickers in here. And let's see. We want, let's do it this way. I want a Halloween sticker and another Halloween sticker. And then we'll do a fall sticker and another fall sticker. And then I'm gonna do two. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that particular sticker there. So I've got two Halloween, I have two fall and two Christmas. Um, I'm using my Maker 3 because that has print and cut. And let's see, I probably could get quite a few more, but I'm going to go ahead and I don't know, could I do more stickers? I'm, I'm worried that I will, let me move that guide out of the way. Let's do this, there we go. So I'm gonna move it over. Let's see how many stickers I could probably get. There's one, there's two, here's three, here's four, here's five, here's six. Um, I probably could get one more row of the Christmas ones. That would probably be the only thing that I could add. Let's see if I can get it to fit. Now sometimes it'll have you resize things or it'll tell you that it's too, you, you know, your image is too big for the um, sticker print and cut. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's get these all lined up. I'm going to click on the all of the stickers, just like this. And I want to go to align left just like that. And I'm also going to distribute vertically. So it kind of just space them out. And then I'm gonna blow this up and just see, are they too close together? All right, so I think these two are a little close together. So this circle could come down just a little bit. And so could this one. So I'm just clicking on it, using my down arrow to move them. And then I think my fall stickers need a little more breathing room. Because I don't want it to be too close together. And I'll move that up a little bit. Okay, so there's all of my stickers. They all look so good. And I probably could make these a tiny bit bigger, like, I feel like, yeah, I could make those a tiny bit bigger. Maybe that's the difference. There we go. I'll just make them bigger and get rid of that. Okay. I like that better. I like the bigger size of the Christmas one. Okay. Sorry, I keep changing my mind. <laughs> But once you go to print, then you are at print. 
All right, so I'm going to go to a line left and then I am going to distribute vertically and it looks like they are all still pretty good. I could maybe move these down just a smidge. Okay. And I'm a little, I always get a little nervous. So I'm going to do a line left again. And then I am going to attach these. So I have all of these selected. I'm going to attach those. And the reason why I'm attaching them is because I'm going to bring in my paper here. So this is like the guide of my paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this column. And it's going to take a few, you know, to populate. All right, and I'm going to move that over this way. And we have another column. And I'm going to move that there. I might could get two more. All right. So I'm hoping I can get all five in here. So I'm going to move this one pretty close to the edge. And then I'm going to move this one closer to the edge and then I'm going to grab all of these attached columns. What I want to do now is go to align top just like that and then I'm going to do distribute horizontally. So now they're all spaced out. Okay, So it looks just like this. There's all my little stickers and then I'm going to hit attach. I I'm going to get rid of the square grid, okay? Now you'll notice here that I get a red warning. So that probably means that it just wants me to resize something. So let's do, it says image too large, and then it says auto resize. So we're going to let that resize that for us. I had to pause for a moment and let the um, Cricut Design Space work its magic to resize this particular um, project. So here's what it allowed me to do. It actually allowed me to go ahead and add one more row. So I did add back in that um, the Holly sticker. So here's what's, what's happened. All right, so first of all, the guide square got resized down to 6.75 by 9.56. Now this is probably something I would write on a sticky note because a lot of times with the print and cut stickers, if you don't maximize the space, you end up printing and cutting on just a small area of the page and then you have the rest of the page that is completely blank and it just, it, it doesn't allow for efficient use of the materials. So what I've started doing is I have my little guide here and this is the size that you want to have your guide. Then what I did is I, I still have the five columns like we did here just a second ago, but because I had to resize it, remember the little red warning, it allowed me to actually add an extra row. I had some space down here and I didn't want it to go to waste, so I added in the extra row of stickers, which um, is perfect. So now we're all set and ready to go. The other thing I did is once everything was, you know, completely resized and ready, I grabbed all of these together, all of them. Okay, so I just selected all of them like that. And then I came down here to the layers panel and I hit attach. Okay, and the reason why is I want these to print and cut exactly as you see them. All right, let's head over to the make screen so I can show you all of the cut settings. And then we will print and cut these out using our maker and we will enjoy the cute little seasonal stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the make button here in the top right. As you can see, that took a, a little bit of a minute because this is actually quite a complex file. And so now here's what I was talking about. So these black registration marks, now those are gonna print out on our sheet and we do not wanna cut them, we wanna leave them. This is what is gonna tell the Cricut machine 
where to actually cut these images. So that's basically the boundaries. This red line that you see around here, that's not going to print at all. And then you can see how I've pretty much maximized the eight and a half by 11 page. Okay, so over here it says print, then cut. So we're gonna send this to our printer, then it will cut and we will enjoy the stickers. I have my eight and a half by 11 letter chosen. Okay, you can change, like if you had bigger paper, you could, you know, choose a different size. And of course you would need a different cutting mat. I do not need to mirror. Then I'm gonna go over here to continue. And this is gonna connect to my maker. Right, once we're connected to the maker, then we have the print capabilities. So this says to print on eight and a half by 11 inch letter paper. And so we're going to click on print, uh, send to printer. Now, let's say that you um, print and then, you know, you have, to, for some reason your software shuts down or you, what, whatever, you have to just walk away from the project. When you get to the screen, if you have in fact already printed the page, you can select, I've already printed. Otherwise, you do want to go ahead and hit send to printer. And then you're gonna get a dialog box that looks like this. Now this is in design space. So you can see I have eight and a half by 11, and then it's gonna find my printer. So you'll need to select your printer. Um, a note, if you are someone who has, um, like I have two different um, Wi-Fi's at my residence. So I have my main Wi-Fi and then I have a guest Wi-Fi. So sometimes I have to remember that, you know, my computer and my printer need to be on the same network because if one's on the guest and one's on the regular, they won't talk to each other. And so it'll act like, you know, there's something wrong and nothing's printing. So if you're someone who has a regular and a guest network, just make sure that your Wi-Fi settings for your printer and your Wi-Fi settings for your computer are the same. So I have my printer selected. I'm just doing one copy. If you wanted to print multiple copies, you could do that in the system dialog. So I'm gonna leave that at one. I am gonna turn the bleed off. I do not need the bleed because remember, I have a die cut edge and then I have a kiss cut um, interior. So I don't need to have a bleed but I am gonna use system dialog. So I'm gonna to toggle that, and then I'm going to click on print. If you have a Mac, you are probably going to have to pull down the, the window for your Cricut Design Space because this print dialog will be behind that. So I'm just on my surface right now, and so the dialog pops up on top, which is great. You can see I have my printer selected, and then you, this is where you would change the number of copies. So if you are going to print several sheets and do a big project, this is where you would change that. So I'm going to select preferences. And then this is where we're going to make our settings to make this the nicest print possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and use plain paper. Now the sticker uh, the printable sticker paper from Cricut has, you know, it's just a, like a normal thick piece of paper, like cardstock almost. So plain paper works for me just fine. I'm going to choose best quality because I really want those images to, to turn out really clear, crisp, sharp. And then one page per sheet, no borders, nothing printing on both sides. And then I like to come over to paper quality just to verify that my settings are correct and that best and color. Well, I want best and color because I don't want to print in black and white and I don't want just normal print quality. And then as far as the layout, this is already default. I don't need to change that. So I'm gonna click on okay and now everything is set. So this is where I would then change the number of copies. Today I'm just doing the one and I would click print and send that to my printer. Okay, once your project has printed, you'll come back to this screen right here, and we're gonna set our base material. Now, I already have this um, bookmarked, so 
like you can see here it says vinyl and it has this little blue banner here the iron-on has like a teal banner and then paper so the paper has this green banner and I already have the printable sticker paper with the white uh, backing and it's green liner printing so I'll show you what I mean by that when we take it off of the mat so if you don't have this already bookmarked you would just go to browse all bookmarks and or browse all materials and then you could click on sticker or type in sticker and then these would be your choices so a lot of times I will use the printable sticker paper white with the green liner printing I will use the printable waterproof sticker set white so I've used that and I'm not sure I think I have a transparent pack somewhere oh nope I don't want to click on that I just want that green lining so this is where you would choose that click done takes you back here now this time you'll notice that your pressure settings you'll have two things pop up you're going to have a kiss cut now I'm going to leave this at default pressure this is what is going to cut around the actual sticker itself so I can just peel it away from the paper and then it's going to have a die cut so the, then what's going to happen is the Cricut is going to cut around the kiss cut sticker and it's going to cut all the way through the material so that I will actually have individual stickers separate from each other and they will no longer be um, a part of the sheet. Um, you don't have to do the die cut edge. You know, you just wouldn't select that in the sticker maker like we showed you earlier. But I tend to like them because I put these different holiday stickers in little baggies. Then we have our tools, so fine point blade is perfect. I'm going to load my mat into the machine and um, get that loaded and then it will prompt me to hit the go button. Okay, so you can see that we're done and we're gonna go ahead and unload the mat and click done and head back to the overhead camera so we can show you the final result. This is the final result. Now, these are those registration marks that I talked about earlier. You can see how the paper has been maximized, which is great. And then you can see the beautiful artwork. Um, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna flip this mat over just like I normally do. And then I'm gonna just start pulling the mat back. And when I gently pull this mat back, you'll see how the stickers want to kind of stay on the mat and that's because they are cut all the way through the material. And so I'm just gonna gently peel the stickers themselves away from the mat while I continue to pull the sheet away from the mat. Whoop, there we go. We'll have a huge pile of stickers. This cutting mat is probably ready to be recycled. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at our awesome project. This is what we meant by the green um, liner, okay? So these are all of our die cut stickers that you'll see here. And then I will show you the kiss cut feature. And what I like about using that guide and having it sized to that, that particular dimension and then attaching all of my stickers all at one time is I now have five rows of eight, nope, nine, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, I mean, I can't count, it is way too early. So I have five rows of seven and so that gives me 35 stickers in one sheet. So that is a great, to me, that is awesome. And then this just goes in my little tabletop bin, nice and neat. And then here, I now have my little stickers. I'm just gonna flip them all over here. What I like about these particular holiday stickers is that these will go on um, my holiday projects, but uh, you can absolutely totally make regular stickers for your kids, for your students, for your projects. You don't have to use them just for a logo. 
it really is um, whatever you can dream up as far as a sticker. You could just have general stickers, a bunch of Christmas stickers or holiday, or maybe you want an monogram stickers. Just sky's the limit. So these are not waterproof, so I definitely cannot get these wet. The ink will run and bleed, but you know, for a sticker that doesn't that I know isn't going to get wet, these are awesome. Okay, let me grab a card really quick so that I can show you um, the kiss cut. Okay, so I have this little card here that I made just the other day. And yes, I know it is July and this is a Halloween card, but I don't know that it's ever too early to start holiday crafting and Halloween is no exception because I got a really neat little um, stamp set from Lawn Fawn and I purchased the die to go with it. So I'm really excited to use this in a variety of different ways, but I just wanted to play around with some ink blending and so I made a Halloween card. With that, let's see, we need a Halloween sticker. So we have the two Christmas stickers, then we have the two stickers for fall. We've got our Halloween stickers. So right now I have the Halloween, I have a bat pumpkin wreath, and then I have the little ghosty pair. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use the little ghosty pair it looks so cute. So this sticker is die cut. And if you go to the edge and you just peel or just kind of bend it, you'll see where the kiss cut is going to come away from the backing. And now you have your, your little kiss cut sticker. So the, the benefit of the die cut is that these are already separated for you from the sticker sheet, which I kind of like. And then you have the kiss cut so it allows you to peel it nicely away from the backing and not have to mess up your mani or bend the paper or whatever so when i first made this card i had originally put my other my older sticker on here i don't know that i can really peel this up but it's not that big of a deal in fact i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick down the little ghosty and then I'm going to peel up this kiss cut edge I'm gonna get this off of here and I'm just gonna stick it right back down around the little ghosty group there and cover up that original sticker so let me turn that around and there we go so you know this is probably I don't know that this is a card that I would um, you know give to a stranger or put in my shop or anything definitely have two little stickers there so but that's how that works is just you can you can utilize the die cut edge if you want um, to go around your little kiss cut or you can just peel it off and use the inner part but there we go. And then something that I like to do is I do like to separate my stickers by, you know, what image they are. So this was on the channel previously. I just got one of these, these little two pack of mini plastic candy jars. I think I'll probably go back to Dollar Tree and get a few more because they're just so cute. But I house my, um, my plain stickers here and I just have them in there then I have these little bitty jewelry bags so these little jewelry bags are what I'm going to use to keep all of these holiday stickers corralled so that they don't get wet or ruined or clear I can see exactly what's in there and I can see how many I have so this is great lots of organization going in hand with the craft. These are all of my um, stickers for my cards and showed you how to do the die cut and the kiss cut edging and these were just so fun that you really can just come up with any kind of 
um, image you want. You could design your own image. You could pull images out of design space. You could download images or I guess upload images into design space. But the sky really is the limit. I'm so glad you were here with me today. If you found this video helpful, inspiring, or just entertaining at the very least, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help push this out to others that might be interested in the Kiss Cut procedure. Also, if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can be notified when new content is posted. It is still summer, so I am trying to crank out the, um, the crafting videos as much as possible so that we'll have lots of content coming up in the future, especially when school starts and it'll slow down ever so slightly. But I'm super excited because we are headed into the back to school and fall season. So lots of back to school crafts, organization crafts, holiday crafts, and that will include Halloween, fall, and of course my favorite Christmas. Well, until I see you in the next video, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your summer days. Take time for yourself and your family. And until I see you again, as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.